Arizona's Senator Kirsten Sinema is calling it quits, saying that she will not seek re-election as clearly she doesn't have a chance at winning it. So I'm going to go over uh, cinema here, this announcement. I'm going to show you what I can. Kirsten Sinema is so phony, so fake. It's, it's very hard to watch her videos, so I will do what I can when we get to her three-minute announcement. Uh, but I'm going to show you, you know, what led up to this. So let, let's first start with just, you know, the, the headline here. Cinema not seeking re-election. I'll get to more details in a bit here. But th these are the kinds of things that Cinema did that helped to kill any support she had in Arizona. This is back in uh, 2021, March. Here's Cinema walking on the... Uh, that was the fifth. That was exactly three years ago. Crazy. Uh, here is Cinema walking on the floor, patting Mitch McConnell on the back looking back to make sure he sees her, then giving the thumbs down to a $15 minimum wage. Now, this is maybe the, the cinema highlight that we will all, we will all remember. But we can watch it here. There she is, walking over. Hey Mitch, here I am, gonna vote down wage increases for poor individuals. Miss Cinema, Miss Cinema. Does her little curtsy. And uh yeah, walks away. Disgusting. So Cinema, of course, you know, her position as a centrist swing vote. I love how the <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is, Axios, CNN, NBC, they all position her as a as a, a moderate or a centrist. No, she is a cons or was a conservative Democrat before turning independent. And I'll get to a clip of that announcement as well, just to go down memory lane for a, memory lane for a second. But she's not a conservative. Or she's not a centrist. She's a conservative. Allowed her to play an outsized role in major legislation like the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, the Inflation Reduction Act, and the $280 billion Chips and Science Act. When Cinema stood in the way of Democratic attempt to repeal the filibuster in 2022, the Arizona Democratic Party censured her. And that really led, that ultimately was, you know, the last straw for any support that cinema had in Arizona, as of course that helped to kill any chance of getting a voting rights bill. Biden saying here, I'm tired of being quiet. Yeah, he was very kind publicly to cinema and mansion, did not go hard in either of them. Uh, Salon here, cinema kills plan to codify abortion rights, then fundraises on protecting women's health care, showing you just how two faced cinema is. And this was her, so after all that went down, then she then announced, I covered this at the time that she was leaving the Democratic Party. I'm just going to show you a small clip to show you how just disingenuous, how fake cinema is. You're here to make a significant announcement. I've registered as an Arizona independent. I know some people might be a little bit surprised by this, but actually, I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, a growing number of Arizonans and people like me just don't feel like we fit neatly into one party's box or the other. The phoniness oozes off of her. <laughs> so I'll link, to, if you want to go back and watch my coverage of that, I'll link to that video uh, below and above on YouTube. It should appear on screen. But it just incredibly phony. Yes, Arizonans don't fit into a tidy box. Most people feel they're not a part of either party. Get out of here. This is the result of this bullshit. Cinema, 22%. This is the sitting senator, the incumbent, losing this badly in polling after speaking to the needs of Arizona voters that she cares so deeply about. <laughs> Just so unbelievably phony. But uh, the Democratic candidate, uh, Gallego here, uh, Gallego, leading Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake, who's still, you know, complaining about the last election that she claimed she won. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow, there's enough morons in Arizona supporting her. But Gallego, luckily, is leading in that state and has been vocally uh, against cinema as well. All right, here, here we go. <laughs> this is just, I'm not, I gotta be, I haven't watched this yet. I, I've read the quotes from it. I, maybe I'll get to the quotes if, you know, I can't get through more than a minute of this. But let's see what we can do. Here's her announcement. In 2017, I warned we were approaching a crossroads. Our democracy was weakened by government dysfunction and the constant pull to the extremes by both political parties. Ah, uh, yes, the constant pull of the extremes. 
Can you name, sit for a second, think about this. Can you think of one extreme position that the Democratic Party, as in leadership, Joe Biden, Senate leader, majority leader, can you think of one extreme position that the Democratic Party has taken on anything? They constantly capitulate to Republicans. What extreme position? And even those that, the, those on the so-called fringes, like AOC, who supports the extreme position that everybody should be guaranteed health care. Versus the Republican extreme position that is taken up by a lot of Republicans that Trump actually won in the election in 2020. Like, there, there, there is one party that is clearly extreme. Another party, the Democratic Party, that's too conservative. And there's this, this still, this attempt at a narrative of claiming the, the bo both sides. It is such absolute crap. We're, already, we're only 11 seconds in. Let's see how much more I can take of this. I promised I would do my best to fix it, to protect and defend our Constitution, to listen to others without judging, to focus on what unites us, and to make Americans' lives better. Through listening, understanding, and compromise, we delivered tangible results that make America safer, stronger, okay, let's... and used to retreat farther. The only political victories that matter these days are symbolic. Attacking your opponents on cable news or social media. Compromise is a dirty word. We've arrived at that crossroad, and we chose anger and division. I believe in my approach, but it's not what America wants right now. Oh my I God. love Arizona, and I am so... Oh my God, I have... Look, there are a lot of fake politicians I have a hard time thinking of one that comes off more fake than than Kirsten Cinema does. This is unbelievable. The, the 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 phoniness is just off the charts with Kirsten Cinema. Let me try and find where she says she's leaving. Here, I will leave the Senate. I will leave the Senate at the end of this year. Over my career. Long pause for applause. <laughs> what is that pause? Over my it's the it's the guy controlling the teleprompter having to scroll quickly to the next paragraph. All right, this is I can't I can't uh, maybe there's more in here. Let's let's gleam from the uh, Axios article. Some quotes here. Uh, oh, it's the same crap we just saw. The only political victories that matter these days are symbolic. Attacking your opponents on cable news or social media. Compromise is a dirty word. I believe in my approach, but it's not what America wants right now. Because I choose civility, understanding, listening, working together to get stuff done. I will leave the Senate at the end of this year. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. I can't. Absolute garbage. So I want to get some reactions online. I, I went to the uh, quote tweets and just to see what other people that I respect are saying. Uh, Sunrise Movement here saying, when you took money to destroy our planet but can't even purchase a mini mic. Yeah, the audio was terrible. Out of, you took tons of corporate money. You can't afford a microphone for your announcement that you're leaving the Senate. Christopher Hooks here. Terrible political instincts. And for years, we had to listen to people who thought she had her finger on the pulse of America. Goodbye, idiot. <laughs> I love it. David Day in here. Instead of this, quote, the public doesn't want my wise counsel anymore stuff. She could have said the private equity job offer came through. Yeah, that... Let's get real. This is what's going on here. She's going to make a ton of money in the private sector. That's what's actually happening. Uh, Leah Greenberg. Kirsten Cinema will go down in history as a feckless, corrupt egomaniac who sabotaged abortion and voting rights and destroyed her own political career in the process. Enjoy your lobbying gig and leave the rest of us alone forever. Perfect. Mac here. Cinema really took massive bribes from corporations, torched all the good parts of Biden's agenda, left the Democratic Party, and is now going to go retire in some cushy corporate job as a kickback for her blatant corruption. Our political system is rotten. And uh, Ruben Gallego with his reaction to Cinema's announcement. I want to thank Cinema for her nearly two decades of service to our state. Arizona, we are at a crossroads, protecting abortion access, tackling housing affordability, securing our water supply, defending our democracy. All of this and more is on the line. 
It's time for Democrats, Independents, and Republicans come together and reject Carrie Lake and her dangerous positions for Arizona. So I have seen uh, polling. Let's get back to the polling for a second. I've seen polling showcase Gallego winning regardless of whether, whether it's Gallego and Carrie Lake or Gallego in a three-way race with Lake and, and Cinema. So Cinema leaving, uh, I would think, would maybe boost Lake a little bit. Because you have to imagine some of these people are out of their goddamn mind to uh, continue supporting Kirsten Cinema, But, again, it's only a couple polls I've seen pitting the, pitting Gallego against Lake without Cinema in there. So it's hard to really judge. But uh, so far, Gallego has seemed pretty solid. Some of this, as well, may depend on how Joe Biden's doing in Arizona. Uh, and... In other cases, I mean, maybe it won't. Maybe uh, people will be able to separate, you know, support for which senator they want separate from uh, how they feel about Joe Biden and, and Donald Trump. But regardless, Cinema wasn't going to win. <laughs> so that's ultimately why she's gone. The combination of Cinema definitely not winning this race with the uh, likely job offer that she is receiving to make tons of money after working on behalf of her corporate donors.